The first step in building the hot end for the extruder is to assemble the heat core. The heat core is built around this brass piece here. It's threaded on the inside and the outside. We're going to wrap nichrome wire, which is the heating element, around this threaded brass piece. It's going to fit in the threads, in between the threads on this piece. Now this nichrome wire has insulation on it, and this insulation cannot become frayed. Bare wire cannot be come in contact with the brass piece at all. So it is essential that I am very careful not to fray this at all, which is difficult because this brass piece has sharp edges, especially in this notch here. The first time I tried this, I ended up fraying uh, the nichrome wire on these, this notch, uh, worst of all. But there's also, uh, these threads are very sharp, and so I should uh, be very careful to avoid uh, crossing the nichrome wire over any of those threads. Because this is difficult, I'm not going to um, put the nichrome wire in the slot the way that uh, is shown in the instructions. I'm going to cheat as much as I possibly can in order to ensure success uh, at wrapping this. So first thing I'm going to do is mount this on this helping hands. And I have a magnifying glass on the helping hands, which is helping me see this up close. So I'm going to thread the uh, th heart of the heat core here onto that screw that comes with the package. And I'm going to put it right up against the alligator clip and turn it so that it's tight and so that I can see the beginning of the first thread, which is a little tricky. All right. So that's on there. It's not, it's not turning. It's a little bit solid. And uh, I can see the beginning of the first thread. Now I'm going to take and use this capped on tape, and I'm going to cut three pieces of it. A couple inches, inch and a half long. Sort of tack them onto my helping hands where I can find them. One piece needs to be long enough to go all the way around the threads at the end. So this Captain Tape is, there's a lot of it that comes with the package. And I'm not afraid of using it up. So I can set that aside. I'm going to take one piece of Kapton tape and wrap it around the alligator clip. This will give me something to, for the other Kapton tape to grip onto. I take the nichrome wire and either end Put it alongside the alligator clip. I'm going to measure out 25 millimeters. I'm going to hold that onto the bottom of this threaded piece. Check my measurement. Okay. Take another piece of Kapton tape. and tape that wire to the alligator clip. I'm going to bend this down to give me a little more leverage so that it won't come unseated. 
Now I'm going to begin by wrapping it around the bottom of the brass piece underneath the first thread and then wrap it around and get it into the first thread. And follow the thread around, so right in that channel of the thread, all the way around, till I get to this point. At the very top, at the end of the thread, I'm going to pause and grab that third piece of Kapton tape and wrap it around the threads. The next move here is tricky and requires excuse me while I fix my cap on tape here being difficult All right. So I'm going to check, make sure I'm good in the threads and eventually figure out how to get this tape on. There we go. I'm going very slowly and carefully because I really can't afford to screw this up. And it's difficult. All right, so now I have capped on tape around the threads and I'm going to wrap the wire twice around the top. It wants to slide off the end, which is why this is hard. And if it does that, you want to be able to um, try that again. So I've got it wrapped twice around the top, and I'm going to hold it against those threads, against that capped on tape with my thumb, and I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to straighten this piece, this wire here, and pull it straight out of the capped on tape isn't difficult and I'm going to need to rewrap the bottom which I expected okay so I rewrap the bottom bring it around and twist it off and looks like it fell off the bottom again So just keep trying until I get it right. Okay. Try holding it with my finger down here before I twist. And I think I've got it. So that looks good to me. And I'm going to take off the screw. Take my tweezers and go in looking for the end of that tape.
which I think, as luck would have it, is right underneath the right underneath the knot. So I'm going to go to the edge and be very careful not to grab onto the wire. And pull that up. And be very careful and slow. Magnifying glass really does help. Okay. Pull it up all the way on both sides. Pull it out. Easy as you please. All right, I'm going to look it over. And that looks marvelous. On to the next step.